All right, late night on a uh, <clears throat> Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, original spindle after it's been dismounted from the wheel hub and the backing plate. Uh, you can see <clears throat> a substantially different setup um, as far as the way it looks. However, very, very strong. You can see the extra gusseting here. Uh, definitely a thicker piece of, of aluminum. While I don't know much about the hardness of it, the installation was very straightforward. Literally, unbolt the three bolts, remove it from the, from the spindle assembly, and literally just lift it off. Clean all the mounting points, obviously. We had to clean it because you could see the rust and the oxidation inside the spindle area. Uh, we had to clean this all off, but uh, one of the fun parts to this, and I'll show you really quickly, was trying to separate the ball joint. And what you can see from here is that I actually bent the tool trying to separate it. So I think someone was into this vehicle prior uh, I have to get myself another tool because it actually bent it. So now the, uh, <laughs> well, now it's garbage. That was a tool that I had used for, well, well, Jesus, since 1997. Uh, that was what that tool was engineered for. So there's been a few bumps in the road. However, it is progressing well. This is only one side. I've got three more to do, but the rears are always the hardest because of the axle shaft and because of the way you have to remove and pivot it out in order to separate the bottom ball joint. Um, but someone was definitely in there because normally at normal tension, it would not have been this hard to remove. Also, you notice that the LG Motorsports spindles come with nuts. Why is that? Well, these nuts are technically one use only. So that means the nut for the link I have to replace, the nut for the lower ball joint I have to replace as well. So I've already ordered those nuts in because we have to make certain that all these fasteners are perfect. Because see, they're, they're prevailing torque nuts. And you can see right there, the little crimp at the top holds them in place. The friction and the interference holds them in place without using Loctite. So we are moving on. I've got to find myself a new one of those really fast in order to do the other three. But um, we're moving. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.